Hey guys, it's Kitty Rose here from the Wild Chellies, and welcome to our kitchen. So when we moved into our house last summer, the first room that we walked into was the kitchen. And it had so much potential, but there was a ton of bright colors in this house and the kitchen definitely was one of them. So this entire room was bright yellow and we knew it would look nice and fresh with a white coat of paint. So we ended up just going with the basic white base paint from Bear for the walls. And all the trim, we gave a new coat of fresh paint and it's called Shoelace. And that's also by Bear as well. So once we got the walls to the color that we wanted, we knew we wanted a space that would actually be able to have dinner for our whole family every night. That was one thing that we missed at our old house is we had a formal dining room and we didn't have any other table. So when it came time to dinner, it ended up being in front of the TV. And we really wanted to change that with this house. So the first thing that we did was Rob actually built the bench, which you guys will see on our blog. We have a full tutorial on there of how we went about it, what we followed, and what materials that we used. It turned out absolutely perfect, and it is now the place the kids hang out on a daily basis, not only for dinner time. So the next thing that we wanted to get was a table that would fit our entire family. So we ended up picking up this one from Ikea. We really liked the way that the raw wood looked against all of the finished work in the house. Um, it's definitely not our forever table. We are still hunting, but it definitely works for now. And we're looking for something that also has the same wood tones for our forever table. As for the chairs, we wanted to go with something classic. This home is 1917, so it's definitely built back when uh, Windsor chairs were the only chairs around. So we ended up going with a Windsor style from Canadian Tire and we loved the touch of black as we have it all throughout the house and it ties it in together into the kitchen. So I think this part of the kitchen is probably the most major part throughout all of our journey with this kitchen over the past year. When we moved in, this actually had one of those old school 1970s like half bars at the top that was all wood and it was bordered on the sink and so there was a ton of mold and it just, it dated the kitchen really bad. They did have a white kitchen which was nice but we wanted to switch it up and freshen everything else in the room up with white so we wanted to do a contrasting color on the cabinets. We ended up going with a really nice gray which actually was inspired by the marble that we chose. So when we moved in, they had almost like a homemade version of a butcher block countertop. It was well worn, but the finish on it had started to get really sticky and we just couldn't clean it. So we knew we needed to replace it anyways when we wanted to add more counter space into the kitchen and our budget didn't allow for more cabinets. So this was the next best thing. We ended up cutting that edge off of the original countertops removing the countertops altogether. We ended up going with Livingstone in Halifax and we were able to actually walk into their production facility in their warehouse. And we were able to choose the slab of marble that we wanted specifically. So this actually was one of multiple from this color line. And we were able to choose which one we liked the marbling of best. And then we also were able to go in when they were cutting it and choose where we wanted the sink to be on the slab of marble and where we wanted the corner to be cut out so that we could actually choose exactly what marbling was going to show on what part of our kitchen. What's great about Livingstone is they actually have super high-tech machines, the CNC machines, which were able to precisely cut everything to the measurements in our kitchen, and that allowed us to have those specific areas cut out perfectly. We really enjoyed this marble, and when we had the blue kitchen, the marble just didn't match once we chose what marble that we loved. So we ended up actually choosing the gray. It's called Full Moon and it's by Beauty Tone. Another thing that we were struggling with because we missed it so much from our old house is having bar seating. Not only do the kids enjoy sitting here when we're getting ready in the morning, but when we have guests, it seems to be that awkward pause when you don't have a bar seating where do you hang out in the kitchen? So we ended up getting these awesome chairs from my friend Amy, who actually was get, getting new ones, and she handed these down to us. And we ended up also getting them to extend the countertop 12 inches, which is the max that they will extend it, so that we could have a really large bar area as well as extra workspace. So 
So one of the huge things, and actually the very first thing that I got for our kitchen was our Blanco sink. I have always wanted to have a farm sink, and I think being on Instagram and seeing everybody else with these gorgeous farm sinks really sealed the deal for me. And we never were able to have one in our old house. So I met the awesome people from Blanco at a conference in Toronto the year before, and I knew I really wanted to touch base with them and test out one of their sinks. We ended up going with their Icon 33, which is their largest model, which I probably shouldn't have gone this large. I had bought it before we measured the kitchen, but I'm actually super happy that we went this large now that we have it in. And then I also went with one of their taps as well. What we love about this is it has the shower-like hose on it as well, and it can move all the way around the kitchen. So if you followed us through the beginning of this process, you know that we ended up having to ship lap the walls because Due to a painting accident on my part, we found out that there were numerous layers of wallpaper in this kitchen. I think there was four or five to be exact. So in order to not have to replace all of our chip rock, we actually went with shiplap on our kitchen walls, which looked great, but we wanted to have a backsplash for our kitchen. And in order to make it not look so busy, because we also have the original Wayne's coating, we ended up going for the really large three by 12 inch backsplash. Now I'm pretty proud of how this turned out because I actually ended up doing a lot of the grout work and Rob and I both worked really hard on getting the placement proper throughout the whole thing. And thank goodness Rob is a really good learner because he learned how to cut these tiles in like a half an hour and it turned out amazing. Now, as you also can see, we have butcher blocks around the uh, kitchen. This one we ended up buying at HomeSense because marble stains really easily. So we wanted to make sure that we had a lot of workspaces for our vegetables and our acidic food above the marble so that we could have the nice white marble for longer with kids. Also, a lot of you guys always ask about the bowl that we always showcase on Instagram and Insta Stories. This actually was Rob's grandfather's. He was a chef and this was his bread bowl for in his restaurants. We got it handed to us a few years ago and it has now become the perfect little place for the kids to grab their fruit. One thing you'll notice in this kitchen is we haven't really changed out many of the appliances. The fridge we did change out at the beginning because our fridge from the old place actually was too large for this kitchen. And we also added in a hood vent because they didn't have one and we have a gas range. One regret we do have is not getting the fridge in white, but we do absolutely love white appliances in this kitchen. And when we do finally, update and upgrade our appliances we're probably going to remain white because of that though we like to add texture to our kitchen and that's why you'll see different things like all of our utensils are wood or brass or silver and we've also added some of our cheese cutting boards around to add some depth to our kitchen just for the everyday look anyways that's our kitchen i'm hoping i touch base on everything you guys have been asking about and I am so thankful you guys have followed us through this journey for the last, I guess, 11 months almost. Um, stay tuned because if you take a look at our blog, I'm going to post before and after photos so you can see what it looked like before we did all of this work. And we are starting to work on other rooms in the house and I can't wait to show you guys the whole journey on those.